Okay, for this question, we are going to sketch an example of the graph of a function so that we have these three limits. And let's look at the first one right here. We have to have the limit as x approaching 0 of the function to be negative infinity. And look at this right here does not have plus or minus. That means both directions, right? So anyway, let's go ahead and just come with the graph along the way. Here is, of course, when x is equal to 0. And when x is approaching 0, let's say from the left-hand side, the graph has to go straight down, right? So it looks like this, okay? And similarly, when you are going towards 0 from the right-hand side, and the function will go like this, somewhat like this, right? So it must be this kind of situation. Of course, you can like, extend it but up to you. Now, for the second piece of the information, it says when x is approaching negative infinity, well, our limit is equal to 5. So I will have to indicate that, okay, let's say this right here is 5. In that case, we'll just extend it so that you see when x is going all the way toward the left, this right here is going to be flat and you end up with a horizontal asymptote like this. So that's pretty much the idea. And when we have the limit as x approaching positive infinity, well, we actually end up with negative 5. So perhaps I should make this a little bit smaller. Let's say this is negative 5 right here. Well, I'll just do that something like this. So here is my negative 5. And I'll just do the graph like this. So that's pretty much it. And again, this is just an example. If you would like, it go up and then fly out. That's fine too. But I think this is okay. Just like that.